Hey guys, welcome back to Ganchi Plans. Uh, today I am doing a full flip through of my personal size as Josma ring planner. Um, before I get started, uh, I wanted to show you how everything fits in here. Uh, you'll see there's quite a lot in here. I have like more weeklies than I need because I'm like switching between two different sets of them. Um, and so that is part of why it's a little bit cramped. Um, but the rings still have plenty of room. I'm not having issues with things popping off when I open and close it. There's been some concern about the, um, the strap and I got a comment asking if I have issues with the strap. It closes fine for me. Um, I do have to kind of pull it a little bit tight and if you can sort of see here, it does kind of like, it doesn't lay all the way back flat around. It's sort of at an angle because it's just barely attached. Um, it does have a little bit of give to it. Um, so I think that as I continue to use it, it will continue to get a little bit more flexible, but I'm able to, um, keep my pen stuck out like this. I've got my tabs. These are plastic tabs, which I showed you, um, in the last sort of flip through or setup video. They are bent. Um, let me see if you can kind of see this. They do bend, um, because of how the pen is stuck in there. I'm trying to see if you can kind of see that they're bent. Yeah. Um, but I'm not really worried about them because they are durable plastic. But if I was using something less durable, I'd probably be a bit more concerned. I suppose you can always like trim your inserts down or something if that's what you'd rather do. Uh, it would make it tricky with the tabs. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it all does fit and I am able to shut it like that. Um, I'm just going to cut away now and remove my credit cards because that will remove just a little bit of bulk, but I don't want you to see that obviously. Uh, there we go. Uh, so I already went through everything that was in the front and back pockets and everything uh, of like where the inserts came or the tabs and things came from in the setup video, which linked in the corner. Today I'm going to be focusing on the inserts that are in here. Um, so I'll just sort of jump right in. After this first divider tab is my inbox, which is still empty. This is insert number 37 from the shop, uh, which is the fold out list. And I just like to keep it like this so that it doesn't visually clutter things up and it's also um you know a little bit more secure when i'm doing videos like this i can just leave it and not have to worry about pulling it out like i do with my credit cards for example um so that's the only thing that's in this very very front section then we have tab number one um this is for lists of projects um projects i am working on projects i'm not working on but not the details of them necessarily but just like when I need to find things to put on a to-do list, I'll pull from here. So first up is insert 71. This is brand new in the shop. Um, just this last month of June. Uh, and so I have this set up with summer break bingo and with self care bingo. Um, I haven't made a point of doing a lot of this yet though. I guess I did do, I did cook something the la this last week I've been cooking more and it's, it's nice to, you know, be, able to provide for your family like that um but yeah there's some things that I uh really do need to do like get a haircut and paint my nails anyway and then also yeah summer stuff uh that I'm using this as like inspiration for what we do this week um or next week or whatever next up is insert number 52 which is the 52 weeks future log um so I use this to sort of set aside one particular project for each week, like a main focus project. So with my daughter's birthday coming up on July 2nd and her party that day, that has been a lot of it, but the party has been a big project. Um, also our son's baptism is this week. So that's another thing we're focusing on. And then, um, sorry, you might hear my girls fighting their bedtime outside. Um, uh, as we flip over to the next thing, I'm going to be doing some getting ready for Comic-Con and stuff like that. And then I'm going back to work in August. So there are projects to do there, but this way I can kind of plan ahead and kind of look at my calendar for the whole year at a glance and go, okay, I know I'm going to be busy in this month. So I'll try to, you know, get work ahead done on something. Um, this, you're going to be seeing a lot of these checklists. This is insert number three. Uh, this is a sort of running to-do list, catch-all place to put some things that need to be done that aren't part of a project. Um, these ones are specifically for shop and stuff like that. The next insert is actually from Peanuts Planner Co. This goal planning insert I use for small projects um, to keep a running list. These are some of them are like long-term projects. Um, 
and some of them are just you know smaller things that I want to have a place to write something down without using a whole page for it. Um, so I do have some tasks that are here and then I sort of highlight when it's time to like move that task to somewhere to do it like a weekly. Um, another of insert three craft projects. These are things that I've told somebody I would fix and haven't yet. Um, and then waiting on things that have something to trigger before they happen. Um, a someday maybe list and a honeydew list. Also, so like the idea of this project section is that it runs generally from most actionable to least actionable. So if I don't make it all the way through, I'll still have things to do and I won't fill up my um, to do list with things I can't, like that are less important. And I have these three top tabs here. The first one is for months and future planning. So we've got the freebie. This is insert 69, I think. Uh, this is the freebie from my shop, the month at a glance dashboards. So for June, then um, this one is insert 33, the grid monthly. It's working pretty well. Um, yeah, I still have to change sheets. I had that on my thing for last week, but... Um, Anyway, it's got room for to-dos and stuff like this. I did a whole um, play with me video, which you can find on my channel. Um, enjoying that. Then uh, future log stuff, like I said, is in this section as well. Uh, insert 54 is the future log itself. So you see there's uh, a couple of months here that get busier. So I put a little arrow, which means that there's overflow into the general um, events section so where you put like a date and an event and so I have to check here too. Then there's the far future log which is oh I didn't print it on the back and I can't tell you but it is somewhere around that same 50s I think. Um, this is for anything that's not in the current year so when I go to my dentist appointment in like October or whenever it is um, and they set me an appointment for six months out it will go here. Um, this here, I'm not going to unfold because of confidential whatever reasons, but this is the school's calendar. I, they uh, released the calendar for the new school year, so I printed out the whole thing on a, just a whole 8.5 by 11 sheet, um, and I just folded it up and punched it, and then the bottom half here, um, just the part that folds up on itself, I clipped the whole punches so they can go in and out like this, make it easy. I can unfold the entire thing. I didn't have to worry about printing it on the right size, making sure I could read it. It's all just all folded up. Then these are um, like month monthly tasks. It's listed as monthly tasks. It's insert 63. Um, basically, there's a spot in each month. This is like the last time done log of various things like changing toothbrush heads and changing the sheets um, and razors. And it's a lot of, you know, home maintenance and personal maintenance things that need to just be done periodically um and so i just marked the last time it was done and the next time it needs to be done so we're going to move over from june to july soon then this is the same kind of idea this is recurring tasks which is insert number 17. um this is the same idea but it's has like two lines per task so you put the how often you want to repeat it, the last time it was done, and the next time it needs to be done. Currently just, just has a couple of car things that also are not on me to do. My husband does our car maintenance. He will ask me when was the last time I changed your oil, and hey, can you write down when I put your brakes in? So um, I have that marked right here. He's going to change my oil this week, I think, and then I will put that onto a new line. I'll put, you know, that, yeah, I'll put it onto a new line. And then over here gets an arrow. So I know that, that this task, this line of two lines, is um, taken care of and migrated. Library book log, insert 16. I was going to guess 14. Insert 16 has all of the books that we have checked out of the library right now. We've been, we have been returned a few and got a couple of more this week. We were just um, potty training last week. So we grabbed this. My, my older daughter went to the library with me. We didn't bring the baby who was still having accidents on day two, so we got her a book instead. But we'll probably return it now because she's doing good. Except for the poop. We'll get there. But it is actually really good. Alright, um, then insert 55 is birthdays and anniversaries. You list the year that the thing happened, um, that it's the anniversary of somebody's birthday or whatever, instead of having to like 
redo it every year and go, oh, well, this year he's turning five. You just put that he was born in 2017 uh, and he's turning five this year. You know, you just can do the math. Um, but that way you don't have to ever remake this. You can just add to it whenever, you know, you have a baby or something. See, her baby was just born this year. This next top section, oh, and I can actually, I've been keeping these uh, giant paper clips that I got with my order from Marlene's Plan to Create just to keep things, oh no, that wasn't it. It's here. So that when I flip from a tab, it just opens directly to where I want it to go. So the same thing happens here. These are weeks. Um, I just put a couple of photos of my family at the beginning of each sort of chunk of weeks. And I just uh, printed out a new set of weeks and haven't added the photos yet, but you'll see that. So I started out really basic. This is insert 67, um, which is the rolling weekly. You'll see here there's more than seven spots here, and it goes in this case from Thursday through Friday of the next week. Um, and just whenever you need more space or you run out of boxes, you just roll over again. So when you have a period of your life where like Monday through Sunday or Sunday through Saturday doesn't really apply very much and you don't know how much space you're going to want for every day and you just want to do rapid logs, that's what this works great for. You can continue rapid logging over onto this one or I use this side for a uh, running task list for the week and then things that are coming up that I don't want to forget about. So I went really basic with the decor here, a little bit more with like some washi tape the next week, um, again the next week, and then after that I was like, hey, let's pull out some stickers, and I'm trying out using some um, Happy Planner stickers. They fit a lot better in this personal size than they ever did in the pocket size, so I'm enjoying that. Um, there we go. This is this week, um, and also last week. I have, uh, I went all the way Wednesday through Thursday and then I'm moving into a like more standard Monday through Sunday weekly. So I wanted to just add the last three days on here and have somewhere because I was having trouble um, with the rolled over part, sort of conceptualizing that that was a new week. Um, and I was like, just adding things to the next week section, even though they were still on the same spread. So my brain was already moving into a seven day week. So that is what I have going here. Um, this one is insert 28, which is the faux Dutch door weekly, which is a lot of fun. Um, I haven't folded it yet. So you fold it like this. So you've got, um, general stuff for the week. I've sort of set up just like the dates. Um, I haven't added tasks to it yet. Um, this is stuff that applies to the entire week, and then this is stuff that goes on a habit tracker, and then the boxes on each day are for that habit tracker. You've got Monday, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and you can see the running to-do list like for the whole week on this side. I like it. It works. Um, and I haven't used it in a while, so um, that is what I'm going to be using for the next bit. I've printed out a few weeks of that. This will probably take me through July, um, and then things are going to get different um, when I go back to work in August. So again, I can put my paper clip back to the current week. And actually, it just happens to fit nicely. Oh, we were on, I'm filming this on Monday right here. I can just move this paper clip down the page um, to highlight the day that I'm on, which is just a little fun touch. Next tab at the top is for dailies. Um, I haven't been using these a lot because I have room for the dailies in the weekly and also will for the next weekly too. Um, so I haven't really been using these a lot, but I've got a few different daily options. Uh, insert 46 is two days per page. Insert, let me see if I can remember. Okay, 45. I'm totally wrong. I'm guessing in my head and I'm totally wrong. This one's fun. This is the um, DIY weather doodle weekly. So you can trace different parts of this little thing to make a weather doodle yourself. It's a very basic uh, spread. So it's very versatile. I do like this one. I will have uh, a day where I want to get really granular about my planning. Um, sometimes I'll like write in a time ladder down the side down here. Uh, this is insert number, let me see. 22. I don't remember which month this was. Let me see. Oh, I do remember which month this was. 
this was May. This was the week that we had COVID and there were two days where I was exclusively pumping because I decided my husband was safer around the baby. Um, so that's where I put all of my different pumping times and I was keeping track of how much I was pumping um, and what I was getting done in the middle too. This was like a things I got done list rather than things to do list. Uh, so I did put some things here. I don't know if I did them all or not, but there you go. Uh, that's insert 22 with the time ladder. And then this one is from Peanuts Planner Co. I grabbed this recently. Um, I haven't made my full use of it yet, but I do like the idea of it being more like a long form and intentional intentionality or whatever. Um, like you get an intention and an affirmation and then a space to review at the end of the day, which that's the part I didn't do. Um, but I want to try it out. Um, so that's from Peanuts Planner Co. I think it's relatively recent or new. Now we move on to, oh, sorry. I also have this little guy here. Um, this came for free with my order from Marlene's Plan to Create. And the sticker on top, I just had, this is from a sampler from um, Planner Kate. So I just stuck it on there. Um, someday it'll probably get dirty, but, and I'll have to like scrape it off and clean it or something, but it's plastic, so it'll be fine. Um, so the next section has my content planning, uh, my content schedule. Uh, so yeah, I'm not going to show it all to you, but then I also put some other things like, oh, here we go. This is me sketching out the bingo card idea. Um, then the next tab, oh, this is an outline spread that I made for myself to use for when I'm making my newsletter, which you can sign up for on my website, gamechiplans.com to keep abreast of everything in case you miss it. Um, the next section here is uh, for the current project. Like whichever one of my projects I'm currently working on is this tab. Um, I'm not going to show you all of it because I'm not sure if any of it is sensitive, but um, this is all the stuff for the birthday party. So I have a few different pages in here that I'm doing planning for. Oh, I don't want you to see all of my daughter's friends' names. Then the next tab is for other project pages, the ones that are not my main focus one for the week. Um, so here's our co the costume I'm making for, for assembling for our daughter for Comic-Con. This is a packing list for swim lessons. Um, unfortunately this, I thought it'd be fun. I got these like see-through sticky notes, um, with the same order and it did dry. It's not smudging, but it, I let it sit for a long time to dry to make sure it wouldn't smudge. Um, but it's leaving sticky residue. It left sticky residue on this page. And then I moved it over to this page. And yeah, there's like glue on the page, which I don't like. Anyway, that's a shame. But I'll probably only use this for like longer term types of things, unfortunately. Um, this is for a photo album I'm making for the baby. Or I got like a baby photo album, but I need to print out some more photos. So this is planning who's going on what pages. Um some notes on, I want to try to enter some vegetables in the fair, school uniform, um, notes about like dress code and stuff like that. Um, and this is the very, very bare bones of a packing list for an overnight trip we're going to take. Oh, and this, I figured out what I meant when I said learn on that. If you saw my last sort of video about this planner, I, um, I was like, oh, I put learn on my to-do list. What did I mean by that? I meant this. This is the Star Wars alphabet. And I was like, I want to learn what that is and just try to like do it myself because I think it's just funny. Um, I don't know if you ever played with Bionicles growing up. My brother did. And there was like a Bionicle alphabet, um, which is pretty easy to learn uh, based on circles. And so we had a lot of fun using that as like a code. So that's the idea. Anyway. So that's just a fun little project that I can work on if I want to. The next section, tab five of six, starts with the meal planning insert. This is number 27. Um, and it's great. I love it. I obviously I designed it for myself. Uh, I use the circles to indicate shelf stability. So the things that have three circles are fine as long as we still have power. You know, the chickens in the freezer, but um, the things that we can just have on hand. So like I always have stuff to make this white chicken chili, stuff to make red Indian curry, um, in our cupboard at all times. Um, and so that way, if we don't know what we're having for dinner and the greatest thing now, since we got an instant pot is 
even if I forgot to defrost something, you can cook instant pot or you can cook chicken in an instant pot. Um, and it actually turns out okay, especially if it's mixed into something saucy. You don't really notice it's kind of like sad boiled chicken, but it is it is cooked, you know, and you don't have to defrost it first. Um, so there you go. These are all of the plans for meals because the week before I um, was just like, eh, I think we have food at home. And we, we did technically, like we didn't starve for that week, but we didn't have uh, a, a meal menu plan uh, set up. So we do now. We have food. So I have a couple more of these. I always try to keep at least one more than I think I need of these inserts because then I'll be like desperate to make a grocery list and not have one. So a few of those. Uh, this is a to watch list. I don't check it very often. We've mostly been watching Little House on the Prairie lately. Um, we're on like season seven now. Or maybe it's just season six of nine. Um, my husband had never seen it before. And this is what we're doing with our maternity and paternity leave. This is a wish list for myself. Just things that... Um, that I am interested in getting for myself if I ever have some spare money. Um, these are gift ideas for other people. And then the last tab, a great place to keep spare paper. So uh, insert 70 here is these mini notes, which uh, I use all the time for little notes. Uh, if I don't need something that's a whole page or if I don't need something to last for a long time, I'll just jot it down here. Um, maybe even rip it out and just use it as like a quick... Um, uh, what's it like a, almost like a post-it note kind of things that you would use a post-it note for, but then you can stick them anywhere in your planner. Um, then I have more checklists, which again was insert three. Uh, this is a grid. This is insert one, just a plain grid paper. And the lines are insert 15 and two columns is insert nine. And I have a couple more of the goal planning ones also. Um, so when I need a new project page, I pull something from the back here and I always want to try to make sure that I have a few more of these on hand when I need them. Um, and then the last thing oh, right here is where my credit cards go. And then the very last thing is the tab index insert 57, um, which there's also this pocket, which I'm just sort of using as like a flyleaf page protector thing. Um, I can put stuff in here. I just don't very often. But when I am especially in a new setup that I'm not familiar with where things are in the tabs, um, this is very useful. You just look here and you go, okay, this tab has those projects and this tab has this and that tab and I can quickly get to where I need to go. So I have, as you see, my current project and then other project pages. And so when I'm done with the birthday party planning and I need a new current project, I will pull one of them from here and put it in that section. So I will know where the number one project is and then where everything else can be found. So you go, here's, oh, what did I write on this one? Oh, this is a shopping list for my husband for Father's Day for his gift. So there you go. Something else that you use these little mini notes for. And that is the whole setup, the whole flip through. Um, I feel like this has been a long time coming since I set this up. Uh, I started using this planner in May, I think. And so I am now nearing the end of June. I'm really enjoying the size. It doesn't feel huge to me. I thought it might. Um, after a while when I was using personal in a, um, what's it called? Traveler's notebook. I felt like the dimensions of the page were bugging me. Um, I don't know if that'll happen again. I think maybe it's different with the rings, but I do like it so far. So good. Um, and so I'm going to stick in this for another couple of months, probably at least. And the cover itself is getting scratches and buffs from use because I haven't been carrying a, um, a purse lately. Um, because we have the diaper bag when we go out. And so if I'm just running a quick errand or going somewhere by myself without the baby, um, I just carry this and my keys. I put my keys in my pocket, my phone in my pocket, and then I carry this with me. Um, so it does get banged and scratched and, um, that's fine. It's getting some character. It's, I think it's pretty. So there you go. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe so you don't miss more. I post every Thursday. So the next one will be a, a monthly plan with me for July. And I'll see you then. Bye.